Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. In this post, we'll be talking about the fuel injectors on 6.7 liter diesel engines. Specifically, we'll show you how to program the powertrain control module, or PCM, to accept the engine's injector quantity adjustment, or IQA, properly for the best repair result. Earlier today, we had a chance to sit down and speak with Gavin Burns, Ford Diesel Engine Program Manager, to learn more about this procedure. So thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Gavin. Sure, I'm glad to be here. So we're here to talk about the uh, 6.7 liter diesel fuel injectors and what we need to know to replace them properly. Is programming the PCM with an IQA a difficult step? Not really. With the IDS scan tool, it's as simple as putting in a couple of numbers. You'll need to follow this procedure when you install a new fuel injector or when you swap one to a different cylinder. Each injector has a 10-digit IQA code representing its unique flow characteristic. You'll find the code printed on the injector head and also on the label. When you replace an injector, select the powertrain module, then service functions, and then IQA. Enter the new IQA code for the replacement injectors. Next, prime the fuel system by cycling the ignition three times. To do this, just turn the ignition key on without cranking the engine. Wait 30 seconds for the fuel conditioning module to run, and then turn the ignition key back off. Repeat the cycle two more times. After a new fuel injector is installed, use the scan tool one more time. First, select minimum fuel mass adaptation, all cylinders. Then, clear the continuous PCM diagnostic trouble codes and reset the emissions monitor information in the PCM. If you need to, refer to section two of the powertrain control emissions diagnosis manual, or PCED. Finally, verify the repair by driving the vehicle and rechecking to make sure all the DTCs are satisfied and there are no drivability issues. That does seem pretty simple. Uh, when should we follow this procedure? You need to perform the IQA programming steps whenever you replace an injector, an engine, or a fuel system for the 6.7 liter diesel. Is the scan tool readily available? Yeah, you can buy one from Rotunda and having one in your shop will save you time and money by helping you diagnose repairs accurately. There are some other systems available if your shop doesn't have one. When it comes to replacing the fuel injectors, using an IDS is important. Depending on the extent of the repair, if the IDS is not available when the injector is replaced, the engine may not be capable of running. It may be necessary to perform the injector replacement at the dealer to help make certain that it functions properly. It will save you time and hassle, and you'll have a much more satisfied customer. Is there anything else that we should be aware of about this repair? Yeah, when you replace a fuel injector, it's required that you replace the fuel line. With Motorcraft 6.7 injectors, the fuel supply tube is included right in the box. This is because the crush fit connection makes them a one-time use part. Some competitors don't include the tube with their injectors, so you'll either need to buy them separately or risk fuel leaks if you try to reuse them. Now let's quickly review the steps in the fuel injector programming process. After you replace the injector, select Powertrain, Service Functions, IQA. Enter the new IQA code. Cycle the fuel system three times. Turn the ignition on. Wait 30 seconds. Select minimum fuel mass adaptation, all cylinders. Clear continuous PCM DTCs. Reset emissions monitor information. Drive the vehicle to verify the repair. When we sat down, Gavin also gave us more details about what's changed on the 6.7 liter diesel fuel injectors and why it makes a difference to your customers. The 6.7 liter diesel fuel injectors use a piezo actuator rather than solenoids to control the fuel injection. Each injector's capacity is unique. It's assigned a fuel flow trim code known as an injector quantity adjustment, or IQA. The benefit of this system is that it provides more accurate timing. That gives us more finite engine operation control and more consistent power and fuel economy. But in order to take advantage of these features, each fuel injector has to be programmed individually to talk to the powertrain control module, or PCM, using the IQA. So when you return a fuel injector to the engine after a repair, it has to be placed in the same sequence. If you replace a fuel injector, it has to be programmed with an IQA using the Rotunda Integrated Diagnostic System or IDS scan tool or an equivalent system. What can happen if you don't program the IQA properly? Well, incorrect programming or a lack of programming can lead to drivability issues, things a customer would definitely notice. For example, there's a cylinder injector data incompatible diagnostic trouble code or DTC for each cylinder and each one can set the check engine light. If the service facility isn't aware of the need to reprogram the injectors, it can lead to unnecessary replacement without actually solving an issue. 
It's great advice, Gavin. And thanks for showing us how to program 6.7 liter diesel fuel injectors. No problem. And if you need more information on programming, check motorcraftservice.com. Very good. Thank you. Another reason to choose Motorcraft parts is because of the warranty. Here are some of the details. Unlimited mileage coverage for 24 months from time of purchase or installation. Parts and labor are covered with any repair completed at a Ford or Lincoln dealership. Ford provides vehicle owners with towing reimbursement for repairs completed at a Ford or Lincoln dealership. Ford also provides up to $150 in labor coverage for fleets and installers completing repairs with Ford and Motorcraft parts in their repair facilities. That's all for this post. Join us for our other Ford Power Force Tech Talk posts for tips and repair information for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.